Welcome, my name is James Rankin. I'm an Ixia product manager. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about Ixia's DFS test solution. It's quicker to perform DFS certification and at a lower cost. DFS certification is growing in popularity due to increased Wi-Fi interference in the five gigahertz band. Regularly, to do DFS certification requires a lot of hardware. That includes vector signal analyzers, vector signal generators, oscilloscopes, power meters, and Wi-Fi clients with their traffic. That can be a big cost for all that equipment, let alone the time needed to set that up and to calibrate that environment. Also, it's very, very difficult to automate that environment for repeated DFS certification. Beside me, we have Ixia's test solution. It's composed of a small chassis, the WT20, that has a Wi-Fi blade and an Ethernet blade. The Wi-Fi blade generates the Wi-Fi clients for the medium utilization and also does the DFS pulses for the tests. The Ethernet blade provides the downlink traffic to the clients. That's connected to the medium wave chamber. Inside, we have an AP that's gonna go through DFS certification. Regularly, to certify an AP can take over a week. The biggest time is spent on two of the tests, the detection probability test and the bandwidth detection test. The detection probability test involves sending repeated pulses to the AP to ensure detection. The bandwidth detection test involves a FCC type one radar pulse run over a range of frequencies to see what range the AP can detect those radar pulses from. In total, these tests add up to thousands of individual unique radar pulses. And that, in any other means, can take days and days of testing. With Ixia, all those tests and all those pulses can be run in under an hour. It's easy to run DFS certification with Ixia's Wave DFS test suite. Here you can see the compliance tests, the detection probability test, and the detection bandwidth test. In addition, Ixia provides some functional testing that includes general radar pulse generation and a false detection test. These really help debug issues you may see with the device under test. Under the detection probabilities test, if we look at the setup, we can see the different standards that Ixia provides. You have FCC, Etsy, Japan, and Korea. And you can select the different types of tests you can run from that DFS certification. You have a lot of configuration options from this screen. I can also enable background traffic, which generates Wi-Fi clients and utilizes the media. Here, under test setup, test parameters, I have the detection mode as automatic, I have the signal bandwidth as 20 megahertz, and I have the TX power as zero dBm. That's received by the DUT at minus 65 dBm. There's configuration options here, and you can set the detection mode to be manual, you can have different frequencies, 20, 40, 80 megahertz. You can also change the TX power to make sure you're receiving at the right level. Under test setup, traffic settings, here you can set up the environment clients. And here we have 802.11n, and you can set up different MIMO types and other configurations. Also, the different traffic that the clients are using. Here we're running downlink traffic, and by clicking this button, we can actually see what the channel utilization is once we run this traffic. Here, you can see that the total channel utilization is 9.34%. This is easily changed, and you have full control up to 100% channel utilization. Clicking the Run Test button will start the test. The system will then give you dynamic feedback on the testing progress, and at the end will produce a comprehensive report of the device under test behavior as a part of the DFS certification. If you're interested in Ixia's DFS test solution, please feel free to email me at Ixia at the link provided. And also, thank you for watching.